How are we doing on the Millennium Development Goals? The Millennium Development Goals end at the end of 2015 and it's been this incredible and remarkable process and we've made so much progress but we still now have a ways to go and there are certain groups that we haven't been able to reach and we need to get to these uh, women and to these girls and these mothers, uh, sorry, to these children and, and newborns if we're actually going to achieve uh, the end of preventable deaths. If we're going to do this, Dr. Hassink, what what is the power that moms have to, to be able to do some of these things that Princess Sarah mentioned? Well, I think moms have tremendous power to act on their hopes for their children's future. And the way they do that is by raising their voices, by listening to what's happening in their children's lives, and by taking their voices and their children's voices into every place they work, every social network, every boardroom, every village, every town, and raising those voices of advocacy for children and themselves. That's wonderful. So we've got the moms out there. What about the private sector, UN, government? What, could, what should they be doing? Joy, I don't think we'll really see things change for mom until, moms until we have more moms in the seats of power. So I'd love to see a new global goal of 20 by 2020. Let's have at least 20 moms running the world's most powerful companies, at least 20 moms running the world's most powerful economies, and at least 20 moms running the world's most powerful UN agencies. When we have that, I assure you things will change for women and children. How tough is that goal, Leith? Is 20 a far goal or are we right there? Well, after the Millennium Development Goals, the new Sustainable Development Goals are about to make everything more ambitious. So let's, let's set ambitious goals. We're in a world now, as Sarah said, we can achieve very, very, very aspirational targets. So let's make putting moms in the seats of power one of them.